everyone, and welcome to your weekly MTA plan work video for the Queen Subways and Long Island Railroad for the weekend of Friday, September 20th, 2019, and lasting until Monday, September 23rd, 2019. I quickly want to mention something that you may all want to do special this weekend for the 21st, and I know most of you know I'm a big R&B fan, classic 1970s, 1980s. If you get the chance and you're into it, any random time on September 21st, I encourage you all to listen to the Earth, Wind, and Fire song September because the beginning lyric um, is, do you remember the 21st of September? Which I'll be doing that on Saturday, but I wanted to bring that up because, you know, just had a crazy week and i'll i'll have more to say about the craziness later on in the long island railroad presentation but just something positive to at least keep you guys uh on a high note so a little off topic but i figured lighten the mood for this week so that being all said let's get started with the queen subways is there any work on the 7? There is no plan work on the 7 again. So that's excellent. The purple friend is cooperating with us. So let's hope this treat continues because I would love to see it happen. But you never know. Always could be something in October. Let's get to the N. For the second straight weekend, September 20th for the 23rd, Friday to Monday. 11.45 p.m. to 5 a.m. Pony Island bound and trains were one express from Dittmar's Boulevard to Queensboro Plaza because of station renewal. For service to these stations, take the end to Queensboro Plaza and transfer to an Astoria bound and train. For service from these stations, take the end to Dittmar's Boulevard and transfer to a Coney Island bound and It is a little bit of a fail. How did my L train thing didn't come up immediately? But anyhow, quickly want to remind everybody we will have 20 minutes of the L train running because of the project that will take place throughout summer 2020. So just want to leave this here. And that's the last one, because I'm like, wait a minute, where's the Hugh Street one? <laughs> Just a quick reminder for everybody, because I like to leave the slide up. So, screenshots are always encouraged. Also, quickly, want to remind everybody, signal modernization projects. I want to quickly go through this. Oops, sorry about that. So also, because of the L project, I want to quickly remind everybody, M will run between Middle Village Metropolitan Avenue and Rockefeller Plaza via the F2 and from Lexington Avenue to 63rd Street, and along the 2nd Avenue line via the Q to 96th Street. On the R train, the 20th for the 22nd, Friday, 10.45 p.m. to 11.45 p.m. And Saturday and Sunday, 6 a.m. to 11.45 p.m. Forest Hill, 71st Avenue bound R trains will skip. 36, Steinway, 46, Northern Boulevard, and 65th Streets because of electrical improvements. For service to these stations, take the R to Roosevelt Avenue and transfer to a World Trade Center bound E local. And for service from these stations, take the E to Queens Plaza and transfer to a Forest Hill, 71st Avenue bound R. Let's get to the E. So, 20th for the 23rd, Friday, 9.45 p.m. to Monday, 5 a.m. Uptown E trains will skip Spring Street and 23rd Street because of flood protection. I also want to mention that this will also affect the A and the C line. However, I want to mention the C will skip 50th along with the A. So, 
Later on in the A and C slide, I will help you get to 50th Street, how you can get there. It's a little bit of a complicated way, but I'll, I'll help you out. But as far as everybody else, as far as everybody else is concerned, for service to the skip stations, you can take the E to West 4th Street, Washington Square Park, or 34th Street, Penn Station, and transfer to a downtown A local C or E. For service from these stations, you can take the AC or E to 14th or Canal Street and transfer to an uptown E. So again, if you are on the A, C, or E along the 8th Avenue line, this is going to impact you in Manhattan. Now again, in the A and the C slot, I will mention 50th Street specifically. Very quickly, logical improvement project again, just like the R. So... Really not going to get into it, but these are just your uh, detours in a way. So I'll read the detours at least because I, detour is the right word. For service to the skip stations listed above, you can take the E to Roosevelt Avenue and transfer to a Road Trade Center bound E local. For service from the skip stations, take the E to Queens Plaza and transfer to a Jamaica Center bound E. Now, as far as the F, good news is, I can't believe I'm actually saying this, the F will be running Express in Queens this weekend, which is odd, but hey, at least we have one way to get to Manhattan Express this weekend. Let's just hope there won't be any issues. But I quickly want to mention something in Brooklyn, and this has a lot to do with the future of the F Express. September 21st to 22nd, Saturday, 3.45 a.m. to Sunday, 10 p.m. Free shuttle buses will be replacing F trains between Kings Highway and Coney Island to Delaware Avenue in Brooklyn because of track maintenance. However, F trains will run between Jamaica 179th Street and Kings Highway. Free shuttle buses will be making F stops between Kings Highway and Coney Island to Delaware Avenue. Transfer between buses and trains at Kings Highway. Between Manhattan and downtown Brooklyn, Stubble Avenue, you can take the D and or Q lines. As far as the A and the C is concerned, let's talk about what's going on in Far Rockaway. September 21st to the 22nd, Saturday, 5.30 a.m. to Sunday, 10 p.m. Because of track maintenance, we have more shuttle buses. So free shuttle buses will be replacing A trains between Broad Channel and Far Rockaway. A trains will replace the Rockaway Park shuttle. So I'm not really going to get into the shuttle slide. I'll just let you all screenshot that later on. But don't really want to get into it that much. Now, as far as 50th Street, like I promised everybody earlier, if you need to get to 50th Street this weekend, the E will be stopping at 50th Street. You can take the E at 42nd Street, Port Authority. I'm not going to get into it again with the shuttle. So, leaving it right here. Not really going to get into it. On the J line, 21st to the 22nd, Saturday, 3.30 a.m. to Sunday at 10 p.m. Because of track replacement, buses in the E will be replacing J trains between Broadway Junction in Brooklyn and Jamaica Center in Queens because of track replacement. So, I want to summarize it again. J service will run between Broad Street in Manhattan and Broadway Junction. Free shuttle buses will make all J stops between Broadway Junction and 121st Street and will connect with the E at Jamaica Van Wick. Transfer between trains and free shuttle buses at Jamaica Van Wick and or Broadway Junction J. For JFK Air Train, you can use Howard Beach JFK A Station via transfer at Broadway Junction. So, if you need the air train, you do have an option. I'm just giving everybody the heads up. On the Crosstown line, there is no planned work on G. That's good. Now, very quickly, before I wrap up PowerPoint, 
Let's talk about a detour along the Q13 and Q31 that will be taking place along Bell Boulevard this Sunday, September 22nd. So, this will affect both the Q13 and the Q31 bus routes. This Sunday, September 22nd, from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. Because of the Bell Boulevard Sunday stroll, the Q13 and Q31 bus routes will be detoured. Q13 will be detoured as follows. Northbound via Northern Boulevard, left on Corporal Kennedy Street, around 35th Avenue, left on Bell Boulevard, then regular route. Southbound via Bell Boulevard, around 35th Avenue, left on Corporal Kennedy Street, around Northern Boulevard, then regular route. Q31 detours follows northbound via Bell Boulevard, left on Northern Boulevard, right on Corporal Kennedy Street, then regular route. And lastly, southbound via Corporal Kennedy Street, left on Northern Boulevard, right on Bell Boulevard, then regular route. So lastly, before I wrap up the presentation, let's preview the online segment coming up next. So we'll talk about the Long Beach branch, what's going on with Superstorm Sandy restoration work, and the MTA committee and board schedule for this upcoming week. We have reached the Long Island Railroad portion of this week's video. So, we're going to talk about two things like I mentioned in the PowerPoint. Number one, we will talk about the service change regarding Superstorm Sandy work along the Long Beach branch. And then I will discuss with you all the MTA committee slash board schedule for the upcoming week. And this will be done every month because I feel as an obligation to the public, to you guys, that you have every right to know this information. Just like how the MTA always posts it. So, we'll get to that at the very end. So, what's going on with Superstorm Sandy restoration work? Well, this weekend, September 21st to the 22nd, buses will be replacing trains between Long Beach and Valley Stream for more than 48 hours, as the Long Island Railroad will force performing signal work related to Superstorm Sandy restoration efforts. In addition to maintaining the Reynolds Channel Bridge, which connects Island Park and Long Beach, buses will be replacing several Friday night trains. To avoid busing and delays, Limbrook customers will have the option of using Babylon Branch trains, which will stop on Platform A or travel to and from Jamaica and Penn Station. So, it's a little bit confusing to read, but sounds like no matter what, Lindbrook, you're fine. I just hope that they run all the trains local to Lindbrook because I feel that that's not going to be right. So, I'll have to take a look at the schedule because I'm a little bit confused. There's no excuses. All Babylon branch trains should be stopping in Lindbrook this week. No excuses. Sorry to yell, but that kind of makes me upset in a way. Let's talk about these service changes. So, eastbound. 953 train from Penn due to Long Beach. 1046 will terminate at Valley Stream. 1051 train from Penn Station due to Long Beach. 1142 will terminate at Valley Stream. 1151 train from Penn Station due to Long Beach at 1252 a.m. will terminate at Valley Stream. The 1107 train from Long Beach doing a pen at 12.03 a.m. will originate at Valley Stream at 11.27 p.m. So, pretty much, you will have to take the buses. Which, I got a bad feeling it's going to be cheese. I don't know. You folks in the Long Beach branch could get double-crossed. I got a bad feeling. I mean, I hope the Orion 7s are out with a vengeance this weekend, because if the OGs are out, good. At least that's a forward progress or something. Or maybe even coach buses. I don't know, but still. I hope you guys in Long Beach don't get double-crossed. I really hope you don't, because Oceanside, and I'll quickly mention this, they've been through a rough patch this week with the incident that happened at the bagel store this week in regards to that kid that was stabbed. The last thing they need along the Long Beach branch is this right now. 
And, you know, I really hope, again, they don't get double-crossed with cheese buses. Because that would be... That wouldn't be good. All right, let's go on Saturday and Sunday. Now, this is what's been a cause of concern. Customers westbound at stations Long Beach to Limbrook will have to board buses to Valley Stream, departing up to one hour and six minutes later than normal weekend tra train times. At Valley Stream, customers will board westbound trains. Please plan for 28 minutes of additional travel time. Eastbound customers will travel by train as far as Valley Stream. What? Oh, okay, now this makes sense. Then you'll have to board buses from transportation to stations Limbrook through Long Beach. Monday. Well, here's something interesting. So, again, I'm going to have to look at schedules because this is a cause of concern. I do apologize. Minor technical glitch. Monday, 12.15 a.m. train from Long Beach doing the Jamaica. 12.45 a.m. will originate at Valley Streams. You will have to take the buses. So now, we're going to get a definitive answer because this will be unacceptable. You don't have all trains along the, Long Beach, along the Babylon branch not accommodate that work. Let's see. Oh, no! Let me take a look at the normal weekend schedule, folks, because this isn't good. This is where I have a problem with the Long Island Railroad. Oh, no! Guess what? Just like weekdays, all Babylon branch trains do not stop in Limbrook. Do apologize, that's my mom. Look, folks, the point I'm trying to make here is this. Why can't this weekend all Babylon branch trains, eastbound and westbound, stop in Limbrook? It would make more sense. I find this very idiotic. Look at this. By the way, my mom was outside taking care of something, so. I have the doors open because, you know, I don't have air conditioning on, so that's why you don't hear that background noise. Yep. Yep. So guess what, folks? You need to get to Limbrook. It's only hourly service. To Penn Station this weekend. Oh, my God. This is dysfunction at the Long Island Railroad at its finest. They cannot make all Babylon branch trains stop in Limbrook this weekend. This is the most idiotic thing I could ever, ever have thought of along the Babylon branch. Lease out our customers. I don't know what's going on right now. I literally don't. And I think. I know the whole stabbing controversy was crazy. I would have been urging Long Beach and Oceanside to cancel their homecomings this weekend. Anyway, remove it. Because of this work. I think East Rockaway has an, had a homecoming, but I think that got canceled too. Seriously, my message to Philip Bang right now is, I know this is Friday, and you can maybe do this last minute. Philip Bang, you need to make all Babylon branch trains stop in Limbrook. No excuses. If I was the president, I would be saying, sorry, your trains can stop in Limbrook. Too bad. No excuses. There should be half hourly service in Limbrook. See, the one thing I like about the Port Washington branch, and I'll show you all this, just to prove my point. Look at this. All Port Washington branch trains on weekends are local. 
Okay, fine. You don't want to do it next weekend? Fine. The whole mainline situation, we'll, we'll get to that next weekend because I, I have to look at the committee books because there's supposed to be other work taking place the first weekend in October. Which See, this is the point. Look at this. We get respect here in Queens, at least. Look at this. At least on weekends, we get half family service from Auburndale. And I told my parents this. If I need to go to the city on the weekends, Auburndale will be where I'd have to go. At least in Auburndale, we get respect. If I want to walk 15 minutes to get the Q76 and I have to deal with the subways on the weekends, I have that luxury at least. Go to Auburndale. But now, being the Pippinon branch, you're not going to make all of our peppy little trains stop in Lindbrook just to accommodate these people. You people along the Babylon branch need to have sympathy for what's been going on in, in, in Oceanside this week. Have some sympathy. The kid was stabbed this week. You're not going to make all the trains stop in Limbrook? Just for two days? Okay, I can erupt now. My mom is not here, so she can't hear me yell. Boy, I really lose a gasket. Especially how, again, I got screwed by Nice Bus this week. Which, by the way, I encourage you, if you want to hear how I got screwed by Nice this week, just watch The Great Next Summit, which I'll card that right now. So, let's talk about the committee and board meetings, which yours truly will be attending finance on Monday. And trust me, I will not be yelling to Larry Shorts. <laughs> That's the last thing I want to do. <laughs> And I'm, not, I'm trying to laugh it off, folks, but, you know, I'm, I'm trying to laugh it off. I'm trying my best. It's, yours truly has been a broken soul this week, thanks to, you know, stuff that's been going on in my personal life this week, and I, I really don't want to get into it. But. Anyhow, hopefully on Monday morning I'll be a fresh recharged person. Hopefully I'll have a good weekend. And by the way, the Ravens better beat Kansas City. Otherwise, my weekend's going to get ruined. But Yes, yeah, so I'll be at the Finance Committee at 1.30 on Monday, 23rd. Mind, spirit, and soul will be in a better place. Definitely will. So, here's how the schedule will work. We will have Joint Metro North Long Island Railroad Committee at 8.30 a.m., which again, I don't know why they're having joint meetings. It's stupid. New York City Transit will have its committee at 10 a.m. Bridges and Tunnels will meet at 1 p.m. Finance at 1.30, where yours truly will be attending. And again, I will not be leaving the room until I hear Larry Schwartz opening remarks. Because I feel it's disrespectful to leave the room. So I'll be staying for that part. And then once procurement voting starts, I'll just leave and head back to Queens. Capital... Program Oversight Committee, CPOC, will be at 2.30, and then Diversity at 3.30. That's new. I've never seen that before. And lastly, we have the board schedule for Wednesday. Audit Committee at 8 a.m., Safety Committee at 9 a.m., and the full board will be meeting at 10 a.m. So Wednesday is going to be a little bit interesting because, remember, I have to be at Osdom on Wednesday. I took the Wednesday shift, and I'm taking the Wednesday shift the week after because of Rosh Hashanah, but I know Yom Kippur, that's a whole different story because that's not until my dad's birthday. So I think with that, I'm going to wrap it up for... This uh, week's service changes video. Plan work. I mean, still same thing, but again, that whole rant about Limbrook just drained me.
just did. Thank you all for watching, and until next one, please take care.